Hey guys, welcome back. I have got something new and exciting for you today. This is the Dust Tactics one player starter set, which are just about due to release down here in New Zealand uh, this weekend or the start of next week. But I was lucky enough to get a early copy uh, to do some reviews for work on. So without further ado, I'll crack this box open and show you what's inside. Alright, so here is the main miniature slide. So we've got one medium walker, the Ludwig walker. We've got a five-man recon grenadier squad, or grenadier squad, I can't quite remember. And then we've got a three-man heavy laser grenadier squad at the top. And then a tank trap. So I'll pull these guys out uh, so I can start using my uh, hands-free kit and so stop the shaky up, cam. We've got Over Lieutenant Stefan, who is the character which comes in this box. Uh, so this is a German lieutenant, and he's armed with a flamethrower. So it's got quite a good amount of detail on the uh, the uniform, and a uh, reasonable amount of detail on the flamethrower. Um, now one of the things about these guys is they've come pre-assembled and pre-primed, um, which means you can play pretty much straight out of the box, um, which is quite of nice at the moment, because um, I've got so many other projects I'm working on. Having something which is sort of ready and good to go, it's going to make life quite nice and convenient. Now, these do pivot at the waist and also pivot at the head as well. It's just sort of slotted in there. So I'm going to experiment with a few different poses and then end up gluing them in place uh, just so I can tidy up tidy up the join so he's not sort of cut apart um, and get ready for painting. Um, so these guys are going to be done in Africa core colours. Um, now one of the other things I'll be doing on this model is, as you can see, the front of the flamethrower is a little bit droopy. I haven't put it in hot water yet, but uh, if the hot water doesn't straighten it out, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cut that nozzle off and replace it with one I'll scratch build out of some uh, brass rod. But he's a pretty cool little guy. Um, he's got a textured base. Uh, it's done in sort of uh, that sort of anti-slip tread pattern. And then it's got the little divots on the side. Um, those are for line of sight purposes in the game, I believe. So here's the five-man recon grenadier unit. So there's a bunch of different weapons options on these guys. Uh, three of them have assault rifles. One's got a light machine gun. And one's got a uh, panzerfaust. And another one's got it on its back. And then you've also got the sort of sergeant who's uh, pointing in the middle. So like the uh, Oberlieutenant Stefan... They are sort of separated at the waist and the heads, so you can reposition those. And I'll be gluing them in place once I've repositioned them how I want them. So they're pre-primed. Um, the priming is a little bit light in some places, so I definitely recommend re-priming them again uh, before you start painting just to uh, protect your paint job. But overall, they're a really cool little infantry unit. And again, it's really nice that they're all in one piece and ready to go. And next up is the three heavy laser grenadiers. So these guys are a little bit more fixed posed. Um, they don't pivot at the waist, but the heads can still move. Uh, but they've got really, really nice detail on their guns. Um, the moulds on the, the sort of power cables and stuff like that have come up really nicely. Um, don't think I actually even need to... Yeah, I won't even need to clean any mould lines off those power cables. Um, they're looking really nice. And there's sort of good detail on the backpack. And really nice detail on these uh, heavy heavier armoured guys. So these are really cool, I like them, and I'll definitely be looking at getting more of the uh, heavier Axis Troopers in the army. Next we have the Ludwig Walker. So this is how he comes in the box. The main, um, the main chassis is all put together on the legs, and it pivots on the top. Uh, it's a slightly loose pivot at the moment, so what I'm probably going to do is pop a magnet in there, and another magnet on the end of here. Um, just so that it's not as free moving. I want it to be able to be able to articulate, but not uh, spin around too much in game. And then if I turn around on the side, as you can see, the legs articulate a little bit as well. So I'm probably going to glue these ones in place, um, just so it doesn't sort of wear on the paint job down at that sort of bottom of the joint. But they got really nice detail on the legs, power cables, and things like that. And spinning around the back, there's plenty of hatch detail for the engines. I'll probably be doing a little bit more work um, just to do some piping and stuff like that, some exhaust hatches and things. There's a few mould lines on here, um, which will need cleaning up. 
um, because I am going to be painting these up um, and going for quite a high standard. But again, this is something which you could just get going and start playing with really fast. So all you need to do with this guy is pop on his guns. So he's got two 88s on the side, and then there's a little thermal imaging sight and light machine gun which just clips on the front of the coppola here. So again, this is um, you can put reposition it and pivot it. I'll probably replace the mounting pin on this, um, which is plastic at the moment. I'll probably pull that out and replace that with some blast rod just for a bit more durability. So I'll just leave that to one side for the moment. But as you can see, weapons can pivot up and down. It's quite a snug fit at the moment. But it is a really, really cool looking unit. Um, I like the profile, the sort of twin guns and stuff like that. Um, and he's going to look really nice once he's all painted up. Again, we've got a little bit of mold lines down the gun joints, uh, but that can just be sanded out. And I'll use a little bit of filler to fill up these gaps in here and in here and tidy everything up. Uh, before I reprime it and start painting it. So you also get a tank trap, which is just a simple little hollow plastic tank trap, but should take detail quite nicely. Um, I'll probably slap a little bit of plaster on there just to help uh, give it the texture. And then you also get the unit cards uh, for each of the units. So the Grenadiers, the Ludwig, the Recon Grenadiers, and Stefan. So on each of them, it's got their special rules and their points cost up here. And then it's got their stat values on the back side here. Now, I'm not 100% sure if this is uh, the values for dust tactics or whether this is for the warfare as well. Um, I haven't read through my manual that much so far. But, uh, yeah, really nice printing on these. Um, yeah, really good. Right, so I mentioned the manual. So it comes with a 44-page uh, A4 size rule book which I can't actually get all in shot, but this has got the uh, detailed information about dust tactics and the setting, um, so sort of what, what happened, why uh, the war's continuing on in 1947. Uh, basically, the Germans uh, found an alien spacecraft and got some advanced technology from that. Uh, cool book. Uh, it's got some really nice, really nice artwork in here. Um, so Dust was originally a comic book setting, which they then turned into the game, if I remember my history correctly. Um, so the artwork and art direction of it is really, really cool. Um, brilliant, brilliant photos and stuff like that. Um, this is sort of an example of how the, how the models can be painted up to look really nice with weathering detail and stuff like that. So yeah, really cool rule book. Uh, got all the cool rules for the game. And then you also get a double-sided play map. Now I'm not going to fold this all the way out because it's quite big, um, but it's got some nice sort of concrete textures and then building outlines and stuff like that. Uh, on the flip side, it's got some craters and things. It's a pretty cool map. Uh, it is it is paper, so it will wear after a while. Uh, I'm going to think about whether or not I look at getting this laminated. Um, I would have loved if it was um, a similar thing to the deluxe Dead Zone mats, um, which are sort of done on a sort of mouse pad style uh, rubber which it will be really durable and looks brilliant but good mat in nonetheless and um, it's also broken up into these squares because that's the uh, grid pattern which you're using for dust tactics. So yeah you also get uh, some terrain tiles uh, but I've misplaced those they're around somewhere and you get some dice as well so there's three of these starter sets uh, there's one for the Axis this one there's one for the Allies, and there's one for the SSU, uh, the Russian slash Chinese army as well. So each one's got the same makeup. Um, it's got a hero, a walker, and two squads of infantry. And it's got everything you need to start playing. So as a starter set, it's really good. Um, it's not like some things, like uh, 40k for instance, where if you buy Dark Vengeance, you're going to need to get scenery and everything else. Um, you're pretty much good to go straight out of the box. And uh, if you're looking for sort of a, a quick, easy pickup game, it's great. Because everything's pre-primed, pre-assembled, it means that you can start playing pretty much straight away. Um, so it's good for introducing friends who aren't into the hobby aspect of wargaming, uh, but want to play a good game. 
Um, and the other bonus is, is that uh, as well as Dust Tactics, you've of course got Dust Warfare, which is the tabletop version of this. So I'm really, really looking forward to getting cracking on painting up these guys because um, they're going to come up really nice. They're cool figures, a uh, little bit of cleanup work to be done, but uh, really good overall. Um, so my plan is I'm going to be doing these in a Africa Corp style um, using some of the AK interactive uh, paint sets and weathering sets. So I'll be doing quite a heavily weathered, trying to go for sort of a quite realistic um, scale model style of painting on these. Um, I think Carsten over from uh, Chilling War Gamers and their GFX as well um, have painted up a lot of these Dust Tactics models in that style. Uh, which is what I'm sort of looking to emulate. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, we'll be doing more of this sort of content. Um, because I'm doing a blog for work on these, um, I'll have a bit more coming through, and I'll just sort of uh, repeat some of it on uh, my channel here. Um, so, yeah, thanks to Battlefront for supplying me with the stuff. Um, but I am really impressed with it, and I will be buying more uh, for my own collection. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll have some better photos coming up for you at the end of this video. Uh, which we took at work, uh, which will show everything in much more crisp detail. Cheers!